Hello, it is Faith Friday, and the scripture that we're looking at today is found in Mark 11, 23, verse 23. Mark 11 is known as the Great Faith Chapter, and it says here in verse 23, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. And the phrase that came up in my heart today for you is that the spirit of faith has the voice of victory. The voice of victory. Our words should be words of victory. You know, I was watching clips today of Muhammad Ali, and as he was getting ready to fight, the words that were coming out of his mouth was that he was the greatest, that he was strong, that no man could overpower him, that he was going to win them all. And then I was remembering that movie, Remember the Titans, when they're getting ready to face one of the strongest teams, it's an undefeated team, and they come out, and the, the two teams are supposed to be warming up, and the Titans come out dancing and singing, and it throws the enemy off. Why? Because they have the voice of victory even before they're in the game. And you know, that's how we are as believers. Our stance, our voice should be words of overcoming, of victory, of conquering. Because the word of God says that we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers because of what Jesus has done. You know, I'm reminded of Numbers 13 that the children of Israel had sent out spies to spy out the promised land. And the spies came back and they said, you know what? It's as the Lord says, it is a land that flows with milk and honey. But there's giants and there's walls. But there was two, Caleb and Joshua, that were filled with the spirit of faith. And Caleb said, yeah, there's walls, there's giants, but we are well able to overcome and conquer it all. And I'm reminded of the word that Pastor Fred was given for the year 2020, that it is the year of transition, completion, and promotion. Yet we could say that 2020 has had some walls and some giants, the pandemic, the riots, maybe you've lost your job, there's been some obstacles. Yet we can, as just as Joshua and Caleb, we can be filled with the spirit of faith and speak words of victory, that we are well able to overcome this, that this is going to be my best year yet. Ephesians 3.20, above and beyond what I could ask, think, hope, or dream. Despite the giants, despite the walls, we are well able to overcome it. So I just wanted to lead you today in a few confessions and stir up your voice of victory. So say this with me. I am victorious in life. I am more than a conqueror. I am a world overcomer. The favor of God surrounds me like a shield. God goes before me, making the crooked places straight and opening doors that no man can shut. I have been created by God to prosper and make a difference in this world. I am a success. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only. I am blessed. Glory to God. So I pray that your hearts are encouraged and your voice of victory is stirred up and declare the end from the beginning. The scripture tells us to call things that be not as though they are. So no matter what it looks like, we declare that we are overcoming, that we are strong, that we are well able, able to conquer this in the name of Jesus. Praise God. We'll see you again next time. Happy Friday.